Good evening folks, uh, just a quick uh, repair video on this uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 for you this evening. Uh, now both my younger sons have got these uh, 7 inch Tab 3s and um, they use them quite a lot. Um, you know if it's too wet to go outside or they don't want to play with their toys or they're finished fighting with each other um, yeah they'll, they'll sit on these uh, to the heart's content playing games and um, basically both both them uh, the battery life is absolutely shocking uh, you're down to about half an hour or 40 minutes uh, if they're playing games on it um, obviously when you're playing games on these types of devices it's a bit more intensive on the processor and, and it will draw a bit more power and, and run your battery down quicker uh, so rather than replace both the tablets I thought I'd replace both the batteries so I ordered a couple of batteries uh, from, from a couple of sellers I didn't want to get two from the same cell in case it was uh, fake or whatever but uh, this is the first one that turned up today as you can see it's a 4000 milliamp hour and the model number is the T4000E and uh, yeah, this claims to be a genuine battery. It certainly looks okay. It's not perfect, but we'll certainly compare them uh, once we take it out. Now, I have already opened this one um, just to basically confirm the battery uh, model number because I think this particular model does have two types of battery as far as I could see online. Um, so getting into this will be very slightly easier than, um, you know, then uh, if, if you're going to attempt it yourself you know this will look like an easier job but let me assure you that it is an easy job and don't be afraid to do it um obviously other videos that you see all the time uh, on like phone repair videos and you know tablet repair videos uh if you watch iphone repair videos they're horrific they're so misleading because you know, it shows you and take the screws out, it shows you and just like pulling the, the battery out and it, and it doesn't, they don't come apart like that. They're really difficult things to take apart uh, and people don't tell you that um, on the videos. It just looks really simple and really easy, no force required um, and, and I think that's really misleading. Uh, for somebody that's going in to do their own type of repair and and I, I don't want to discourage you from doing your own repairs because uh, they are easy to do you just need to be aware that sometimes it's not just as simple as it looks so uh, I'm just being honest and open and honest with you but this is not difficult to get into uh, the first attempt was not difficult to get into it just uh, will look easier this time if that makes sense <laughs> anyway uh, so without further ado we'll, we'll have a look so a bit of biscuit or something on there. <laughs> so yeah, this one's uh, yeah got a genuine uh, silicon case. These are really good for the kids because they drop them all the time, and uh, you know, but it, it seems to protect it really well. As you can see, the the, the unit is has not got a mark on it at all. Really good, really good protection. So uh, yeah, this is the um, SM hyphen T two ten model. Uh, but like I say, it's generic name is a, a tab three seven inch um okay so as i say i've already been inside this uh, and what i found was when i was uh, opening it the easiest way to get in was uh, through the micro sd slot so if i just pull that out pull the little cover off you can see that gives us a little bit of leverage there okay now what i used was i couldn't find my, i've got some decent uh pry tools i couldn't find it so i'm using this cheap uh, mobile phone you know the one you get when you buy a cheap iphone screen or whatever um and all we're going to do is uh using the this a pointy end is just sort of squeeze it in there as you can see and it instantly opens up and that's what's going to i'm going to show you the differences uh to what it will be when you open yours for the first time so all we're going to do is is basically run the uh the spudger or pry tool along the edge <coughs> And it will just all pop off. There we go. And don't you obviously don't want to apply too much pressure. You don't want to damage it, but uh, it does come off fairly easily. There we go. Okay. Now, the difference between, uh, let's say, the, the the first time that I did it and and that now, is you'll notice. Um, there is a couple of different uh, types of uh, clips on the back of this uh, this I thought I'd use a screwdriver on the back of this uh, panel here. So we've got these big clips here, the sort of oblong shaped ones. The ones on the edge might be quite difficult to see. 
okay but we've also got these smaller ones you can see all dotted all around the side now the way this is constructed is basically um the screen at manufacture the last thing to go on this is a screen by the looks of things uh, because these um little posts if you like go through these holes that you know they obviously match up to these holes on here and then from the other side of this uh, gray plastic they are heat welded on so they basically there's a little uh if i can do this and some that we use this you know whatever this little clamp here so if this is our hole here and my thumb is the little pegs on the back of the board uh, back of the panel it comes through like that and then heat is applied and obviously squashes down the plastic uh, and, and forms this uh, almost like a you know like a plastic stud uh, to prevent the back from coming off uh, and all that happens is when you um, when you pull this off the first time you get a few little pieces of white plastic in fact one of them has just appeared there if I can get it to focus so can you see that and it is really tiny and really thin so that's why I don't want you to worry about it because there's very little stress or, or, or force needed to, to break those off uh, but if you just give it a good shake once you've uh, taken it out uh, taken the back off and then you'll get all those little bits of white plastic out uh, there's also a little bead of uh, glue around there but uh, yeah that's just some additional uh, securing of the of the uh, actual uh, back itself anyway rambling on again so i'm um, initially looking at the um the batteries uh, and comparing them i can see on the genuine one um I'll say the genuine one, it does say it's got a serial number and it says 8 gigabyte. Let me just compare the serial numbers and see if that's just uh, a manufacturing sticker. Yeah, it is. So that uh, serial number matches up to the serial number on the back of the device. So um, it may be the originals, uh, you know, a replacement wouldn't come with that uh, sticker on. So there's uh, four screws for us to take out here. And we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned price. Uh, that battery was uh, just over nine pounds delivered. Another one I've ordered, so I think, was about nine ninety nine, including delivery. Uh, so much cheaper than you know replacing a tablet at you know a hundred pound or so. Um, and hopefully they'll they'll perform uh, quite well. I'll just uh, see if we can lift that out now. Okay, so that's the battery <coughs> loosened, and there's just one of these little connectors. Um, if I just show you there, hopefully I get it to focus. And all you need to do is apply, uh, hold the cables that are flat, and a little gentle, uh, a little gentle lift, and it just pops out like so. I'll just tip those other two screws out. So I can see the manufacture date on this particular um, this particular battery is uh, November 13, and this one is uh, March 16. So um, comparing the two side by side, um, get them to focus. Yeah, I think. Possibly the the uh, it could possibly be genuine. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, only time will tell. Um, but yeah, so and in, installing it's just going to be the reverse of what I just showed you there. So um, line up our connector, um, like so. Get it to focus. So yeah, there's a couple of little pegs as you can see. Uh, sticking out the side and those clearly fit in there so just that will apply a gentle bit of pressure and that's seated in there nicely and then the battery should just uh, pop in right and that seemed to go in not too bad 
and then we'll just uh, pop these screws back in. Hey, if you're doing this, you know, I know many of you won't, but just obviously, if you're going to dispose of this, you, you know, do it sensibly. They are potentially dangerous, and uh, you don't really want stuff like that getting into landfill. So just take it to your lo local uh, household waste recycling, and they'll uh, dispose of it in an environmentally sound manner. Okay, uh, last screw going in. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's us uh, uh, all inside. Uh, sorry, that's it all in and the screws back in. Uh, but looking inside, and we'll do we'll not do a mini tear down. But yeah, this is clear wheel display and uh, you know display and touch screen digitizer connector. We've got a little connector there for a uh, power and volume buttons, a little Wi-Fi antenna, um, another flat flex going out to the front. Possibly that's a touch screen. And clearly our uh, processor and stuff and memory will be under here. And we've got a little couple of speakers down here. And then um, a uh, camera. And that's our camera connector, I think, there. Uh, interestingly, that looks like a vibration motor. This model does come uh, as a... Uh, you know, a cellular version as well, or you know, mobile device as well, with a SIM card slot. So on different models, that they're probably just using the same molding, and that, let's say, that looks like a, a vibration motor possibly would fit in there. Right. So only thing to do now is put the back cover on, and it's just a reverse. Just put it on, and go round, and push all the way round the case, just to make sure you get all those little clips in place, and that will do you. Nice and flush, put your SD slot back in, and you know, like I say, you're not going to take that off. The kids won't be able to get that pulled off uh, just using the fingers. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty secure. So I think we'll just try and turn it on now and see if this new battery's got any juice in it. Yep, it has. Um, I shall just, uh, while it's booting up, give it a quick clean so you can see the screen. Old friend isopropyl alcohol. Okay, and then use the dry part. Again, well, not again, but I know I'm always banging on about isopropyl alcohol. It is everybody's friend. Don't go and buy expensive screen cleaners for your your TVs. Uh, you can see that that's basically a mirror now, and a uh, sixty-one percent battery. And because we've disconnected the battery, it's obviously defaulted back to uh, 1st of January and midnight. So there we go, guys. Uh, there's a quick uh, repair on that uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. I'll just verify that it is charging uh, before I go. That might be sensible to do. Make sure you're not telling your lies. And there we can see charging. 60%. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'll finish up now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you found that interesting or, or if anything, useful. Uh, and like I say, it will save you, you know, 90 or £100 pounds in replacing a tablet just by replacing the battery. Um, if anybody wants to add to the comments, if you'd like to see me open up the other one real time uh, for the first time, uh, so you don't you can see that's your force required to open it please just put in the comments and i'll do that when the other battery arrives uh, i ordered it a few days ago so uh, i don't expect it to be too long uh, but yeah certainly add the comments and if you want that i'll, I'll do that for you uh, uh, let's say hope you enjoyed it uh, give us a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you wish take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon bye bye